Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. Today we are going to be following a recipe. It is called a Kentucky Butter Cake. So I'm following somebody else's recipe. This is not mine, I thought it was very interesting. I see it a lot on the internet, so I said let's give it a try. Okay, we're gonna prepare our flour. To the flour we're gonna add our baking soda, baking powder, and salt. We're gonna give this a mix. Okay, and the big stand-up mixer, we are going to add two sticks of butter, softened butter, and our sugar. Okay, we're going to beat this until very light and creamy. It's going to take about two minutes. Okay, very light. It changes color. It almost goes to a very pale yellow. We're going to add in the vanilla. we're going to start adding in our eggs one at a time. Okay, everything seems to be mixed nicely. We're just going to scrape the bottom of the bowl and we're going to start incorporating our flour along with the buttermilk and we're just going to alternate it. Okay, starting with our flour. And here we go. nice and mixed but again we're gonna scrape the bottom okay okay here I have my bun pan that I'm gonna use for this I did uh, spray it with some nonstick spray and floured it uh, pretty heavy so we are gonna just pour our batter in and I'm gonna start with the spoon so that I can go all the way around evenly and I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Okay, now that we have everything in there, we're just going to level this off. Okay, it's all ready. I'm going to pop it in the oven and I will let you know the exact baking time as soon as it's ready. Okay, guys. Our butter cake is out of the oven, very hot. I just tested it with the toothpick, everything looks good. We're going to let it sit here for about 10 minutes to cool and then I will flip it over onto my serving platter. So I will be back, but next we are going to start with our sauce, our butter sauce that goes on top of this cake. Alright guys, for the sauce we are going to add some water some vanilla, some butter, and some sugar. Now on the notes on the recipe it states on there that if you want to replace the butter, I mean the water, you can add some uh, rum or brandy. But I'm just going to leave it with water. Okay, this is ready. Everything is melted. The sugar is melted. The butter is completely melted. And we just need it to incorporate this. So this is done. We can take it off the heat. Alrighty, here we have the cake. I got these little long toothpicks. What we're going to do is we're going to poke holes into the cake so that we can pour the sauce on top. I have my sauce here and you're supposed to pour it on slowly so that it can penetrate the cake. Okay, and there it is. Now you put as much or as little as you want to 
I'm going to let this go ahead and seep in there for a little bit. Maybe pick some of this up and reload it up. Okay, and there we go. All right, let's go ahead and give this cake a try. It smells delicious, guys. I wish y'all could smell this. Okay, let's go ahead and cut this guy. there how delicious is that and it's just a typical pound cake but the taste the smell of the the sauce with the butter is just unreal okay let's go ahead and taste this cake okay everybody we're gonna give this cake a taste and I will tell you right now this smells awesome so if you've never had it this smells delicious mmm mmm This is absolutely delicious. This is everything that they've been talking about. That's why I've been seeing it online a lot. I know this is not a new recipe, but I've been seeing it a lot on Facebook. It is worth the try. It is delicious, guys, I have to tell you. The sauce, the butter, almost tastes like caramel. Very good. The, the cake is delicious, very moist, and but it still has some texture in there. Very nice, I hope you give it a try. I know I'm gonna keep it around, put it in my recipe box, cause that's a keeper for sure. Okay guys, that's gonna conclude the recipe for today. I will have the, I'll try to find the original person that put out the recipe down in the description box and I will leave the recipe down in the description box for you. And any items I may have used will also be down there. Don't forget, go visit us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. And if you are new here and you are not subscribed, I surely would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so they can notify you every time I upload a video. Okay guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.